Hello everyone, this is Quarter Singh and this is the third video in the NumPy series. So uh, today I will be talking about how we can access the data, a value, particular value, a particular row or column in NumPy array and how we can manipulate or change the value, the entire row or entire column in NumPy. So I have a PDF over here which you can refer to. So getting the specific variable, we're going to start with this one and the link of the PDF uh, will be in the description below. So you guys can uh, open it maybe and then another tab or something to re to refer it. So I'm going to create a new variable like I already have a variable but I'm going to change the value in it. So I'll go for np array and I'm going to put at least 10 values into it because I need it to show you some example. One more thing guys, uh, it's not necessary that you have same number of columns uh, which you have specified in the first row. So if I go for uh, 10, 10, co uh, 10 columns in the first row but one column in the second row, it is actually completely fine. It is actually uh, doable in this particular thing. So anyway, we gonna, uh, we gonna, but we gonna do, not do, do it that way, we gonna have the same numbers. So it's gonna be easy for me to uh, demonstrate couple of examples maybe and uh, I'm gonna do it very quickly so here it is mm. anyway what we're gonna uh, do now like let's suppose if I wanna access this particular two variable over here so how will I do it so I'll first write the code a let me just close this down a 0 1 so what is this 0 and 1 so 0 is the row this particular row and 1 is this particular column 2 and 22 one a column one a column that that column actually so 0 is the row which we are entering and 1 is the column see so as you can see in the notes you can to get the two we will do a 0 comma 1 and similarly if i want to get the entire row so what are we going to do so we will, if I want to get the uh, second row, entire second row, so I will do uh, a second row. So it's index of second row is will be uh, row number minus one. So row number is two minus one is one. So that's why I wrote one over here. And that's why I wrote zero over here because the row is row was one. So anyway, uh, if I if I don't get the entire row, I just have to specify the row number and I have to put the colon over here. And I'll get the entire row which is here. Let's suppose if I want to get a column instead of a row, so I'll do the same thing instead of putting the column at the back, I'll put it in the front and comma and I'll, I'll get the fifth column maybe. So fifth column should be five and 50, uh, fifth column is six and 66 because yeah, it's, it goes with the indexes. So zero, one, zero, one, two, three, four and five. So yeah. And uh, let's suppose, uh, so how does this particular thing work? like? Okay, I got the row, I got the column, but what is this basically a column? The column is allows us to specify the start index, the end index and the step size. So let's suppose I have a uh, first, first row and I want to start with start from fourth element and I want to go till mm, sixth or seventh element. Okay, so I'll get zero, one, two, three, four. So I started with 5 and I have 4, 5, 6. So I am going till the 7th element. Like I, I, won't, I won't be getting the 7th element like 8th element because it is up till that particular element. Now let's suppose I want to jump. I want to start with 1 but I want to jump 2 sizes. Like I don't want to have, I want to skip uh, 1 and uh, go to the another 1. So I started with 2, I skipped 3, then I went to the 4. Then I skipped 5 and went to the 6. And if I wanted to skip uh, 2 things, then I have to do 3. So it's a step size, like how many steps I'm taking at the at, at time. So I started with the 2, then I jumped to 3. Since uh, I cannot jump further than 7, I cannot jump to 8. So I stopped at 5 only. So I hope you understood it. So uh, the next thing comes is change the values of the array. Let's suppose you want to change this particular 9 to 90. So let's let's see how we can do it. So I'll do normal thing like like the way we access it. 
So in the, in the sense of accessing the value, uh, we have to first find out the row and the column uh, column and number. So the row number is zero. The index of the row is zero and the and this will be eight. Since it's nine, so nine minus eight. So it will be nine. It will come out to be nine. Now I do the same thing a zero eight is equals to nineteen. So if I do this and run it, let me just put it up and run this command again over here. So it's gonna give me ninety. And if I print the a, the nine nine is changed to ninety. The nine which was over over here, it has been changed to ninety now. So let's suppose if I want to change the entire column to let's suppose five, I want this column to be five only. So how will I do it? So I'll first let's access the column first. So we'll uh, we'll do column this particular column number zero one two. So we'll get the column over here. So we got three and thirty three. So we're gonna do the same thing. If I want this column to be five, I'll do five now i do the same thing i paste it what i'll get five five i'll see my entire a so as you can see you get five five over here what if uh, i want to have specific values over here so i can do the same thing i'll copy it and i will put a list over here so i'll do 45 and 78 so let's See what's the result over here, 45 and 78 and A, A is equals to um, again 45 and 78 over here. So same thing you can do it with the row and uh, I hope you understood the tutorial and please do refer the notes, uh, You might it might be handy and uh, you can do the same thing with any dimension array. So let me, let me just show you with three dimensional array, I've never shown you three dimensional array up till now, I think so we are... Uh, ready for that particular thing so we're gonna go one more particular uh, list and one more list then I'm gonna have list over here one two again three four comma list again two okay let's go for uh, five six seven seven eight so let's see what we got over here. So over here we got this. So let's suppose I want to access of this particular value over here, six. So for what I have to check, like I told you previously also, we'll, we will check that in which how many uh, list is there, like how many square braces are there. So we have zero, one and two. So we have two, we have three, three things to be accessed. So we want to get into first list then we want to get into this particular list and then this list. So we'll go for 0, comma, 1, comma, uh, this is the 1. So let's see what we get over here. We get 4 over here. Okay. Because we, uh, okay. Because we have to, okay, I, I, I did the 0 for this, this particular list. Instead of that, I have to do one over here so it's one 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 and i get eight over here so i tell you where i missed like a lot of a lot, a lot of times happen that you guys can miss too or um so we have to become we have to first uh get into this particular part zero so i got into this particular part instead of this part then i went to this part then i took the this uh then i took and then i went to this part and then i took the this one so instead of that thing i want i had to just do do the first one. So I got confused over there. So anyway, uh, if I want to access, uh, let's suppose three over here. So how will I do it? I'll go for a. So I'll access this particular first part. We got the we go, we got into this part. Now it's in the uh, second row. So we'll go for one. So row minus one will be give give me the index. So now it is on the index zero. So I'll get three over here. Similarly, you can change the value of it. So value can be changed equal to let's suppose 90 and again if I want to print A then over here you can see I got 90. So thank you so much guys uh, for watching the tutorial. I hope you understood it and thank you for that mistake I did and uh, 
anyway, I didn't, didn't want to cut it or redo the video for just because it's, it was a small mistake. Uh, uh, so I just want to say that if you really like the video, then please give a thumbs up to the video and uh, subscribe my channel. It really motivates me whenever you like, subscribe, or comment on it to make new content for you guys. And uh, the link of the PDF, the notes is in the description. Do check them out. You can refer them. They are very handy. And I'm really sorry for the bad handwriting. And stay tuned for the more tutorials. Uh, it might be coming on the Matplotlib and like sure they will be coming on Matplotlib and uh, Pandas. Maybe Pandas first and then Matplotlib and Seaborn ultimately. And then TensorFlow and Keras will be seeing for sure. Anyway, thank you so much guys for watching the tutorial. Uh, bye.